No, we've arrived. Um, there's plenty of people here. There's plenty of snow. And look what Mark's got. Again. So he's dying to get out there in the snow. Well, in this car park, here is a bit of a slope, and I'm told it's quite good for sledging. I'm dreading this. I don't know whether you can see, but up there, we're going to try and get the drone up as well. You can see the ski, ski lift going up the mountain there. And Paul and Gary have just been telling us that they have actually been skiing down that. Not my cup of tea. I like to watch. That's my game. Look at Mark, he's like a child. He's running off in front with his sledge in his hand. And that's the view we've got at the minute. It's a bit cloudy at the moment. I'm hoping it's going to clear up and then we can see it. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my God. He's more eager than the kids that are playing up here. But it, how stunning is this? And the car park's ideal. Can't keep up with him now, he's off, he's gone. And he's off. It's very deep. That's it. Oh, I can't stop! I can't stop! Come on, you're alright, go! Oh my goodness, it's not exactly Speedy Gonzales, is it? He's off! The thing is, he's forgot he has to come all the way back up here. There's no ski lift here to fetch you back up. You had enough? Yeah, it's uh, hard work walking back up, isn't it? Yeah, that's the only problem, you see. We had a great time playing in the snow, but as the evening closed in, the temperatures proved too much, plummeting to minus eight during the night. So we all retreated to our vans to get warm and enjoy a New Year's Day roast dinner with friends. showing you the exit to where we stopped last night up in the um cane gun what is it well yeah ski, like ski resort car park yeah so. but just above Avenue Marshall we say look at that lake over there i don't know if you can catch that on the camera doesn't do it justice up here really it's absolutely stunning it's really cold yeah <laughs> it is really really cold we're just thankful that this road's been gritted well we hope so it looks a bit icy to me no there's been cars coming up since half past seven this morning mark Look, they're all coming up now. Everyone's going for a, a day on the slopes. We're heading down to Fort William and Glencore, I think. That's the plan, and we'll see what happens. We've had a lovely stay. No skiing for us, as you've seen. Mark's been on the sledge, and that were enough for him. <laughs> yeah, that can be up, Tired you out, didn't it? Yeah. 
This is where he was, he was sledging yesterday on this fresh snow here. Just look at them mountains, absolutely beautiful. So we're currently on the A86 heading towards Fort William. Uh, but the scenery is absolutely gorgeous. We keep getting distracted, don't we? Yeah, yeah. It's about minus 10 outside. It's absolutely freezing. The road's clear, but the washers keep freezing up. So we have to keep pulling over, don't we, to, to get, them, uh, get the windscreen clean. Yeah, it's taken a bit longer than we wanted it to, but we're so enjoying the scenery. Well, have a look at this. So it's a woody toilet stop but what a stop we've we found look at this this is kinlock lagan now this lock's going to go all the way alongside our van as we're driving down now it goes quite a few miles i think it's massive but just up there you can't see it. the clouds just overtaken there's some absolutely huge mountains the scenery is to die for i don't think woody appreciates it he just wants to have a wee Do you like it, Woods? I think that's a yes. Just pulled into the SO petrol station, spent £100 in fuel, so why not have some free water? <laughs> um, we're going to fill up at a campsite down the road, but if the tap were frozen, then we wouldn't be getting water. So, got a little tap at the side of the petrol station there. It was frozen up, I had to put my hand around the tap for a minute or two and it's defrosting it's not very fast so we'll be here for a little while you can see just through the trees we've got the mountain range of Ben Nevis uh, disappearing way into the clouds so, uh, we won't be going up there <laughs> not likely so right Mark saying he's found water it's been on a quarter of a tank for the last five minutes so it's either coming out very slowly or I don't know, he's gone to check it. Yeah, it's coming out very slowly. He's going to get wet through now. <laughs> this could take some time. Still waiting for the water. How long is this taking? It's trickling out, isn't it? There's not a lot of pressure, so... So I've had a look and he, he fancies fish and chips for dinner. Bank holiday Monday can't find nowhere can we and I think Mark just said earlier on that we, we did you show them Ben Nevis through the trees yeah. the highest mountain in Scotland and the UK apparently it doesn't look all that big at the minute because it's covered in cloud but what a little stop here free water and Ben Nevis to look at I'll show you where I can see that's Ben Nevis just up there but as you can see the clouds have come down and cracking it's just starting to rain so we've had snow. I think I'd rather have snow and no rain. But you see, yeah. so it got a bit warmer down here since we came down from having more, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, snowing up there, like, isn't it? You see, it's turning white. Like. Woody's not bothered. He's in his heated bed, loving life to the max. So because there's no chippies and it's a bank holiday, we've had a cheeky McDonald's. We saw it and thought, pull in, let's go and get a McDonald's. Again, trying to find your Ben Nevis, but as you can see, the cloud has descended. That's not even Ben Nevis, it's right around the corner, but the cloud is so low. Woody, he's still loving life. 
he's loving this bed. We got him a new bed from Pets at Home before we set off and we've actually put a heated mat underneath it. Everyone's asking me if it's a heated bed, but it's not. It's a different heated mat that's separate and it just plugs in. And like we've shown you earlier on, it's being powered on our power bank. So yeah, he's never out of it. Absolutely loves it and it keeps him nice and quiet and warm at the same time. As it's raining, we're gonna give you a quick tour of Fort William from the van. We're not gonna be stopping here today because it is absolutely pouring it down. Yeah. The clouds come that low, it's all over the hillside and mountains across the, the lake. Is it a lake or a lot more? It's in the sea, that. You're in the sea of the west coast of Scotland. Oh, That's what it go. says on the uh, Apple Maps, in the seas. Oh, I thought you actually just knew that. No. <laughs> so yeah, and it runs all the way along the roadside here. Very nice. I think, I think it'll look much better in summer. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit damp and miserable today, so we're heading on to our next stop, which is going to be Glencoe and uh, our friends have found a nice place in the woods for us so that's going to be a bit different isn't it yeah love a bit of off-grid well, camping we reckon this bigfoot there so we're going to go and look for bigfoot in the trees aren't we in the wood so what do you think i won't tell you what mark's just said that looks like but my god that is absolutely stunning we're about what seven or eight miles outside fort william yeah, yeah. on our way to Glencoe but that is yeah, just like worth every penny of a view that's like summer abroad isn't it you wouldn't expect to find this well I didn't expect to find this in Scotland tiny houses as well right next to the lock if you've never been to this country you really need to get up here and have a good good look round give yourself plenty of time because it's huge I have Scottish family my mum was Scottish. Uh, I have um, lots of relatives in Scotland but I've only ever been as far as Livingston and Glasgow. Never been up to the Highlands and boy have I missed a lot. There's so much to look at. Yeah. What you say? Oh, yeah. Right so we just had major major dramas. Oh my god. I couldn't vlog it because I was in the, the actual cab at the time. Look at the van. Just look at this. Even with our all-terrain tyres, people are still skidding now, look. Look at the state of my bus. We've come to Glencore Ski Resort. The snow's just started coming down. That's where they go to ski. <laughs> and we've just got stuck. Oh my God, it's so busy here. And we have just got stuck on the road coming up. We've had everyone pushing us. Oh my God, my bus, I'm shaking. That was, we were actually sliding backwards down the hill. Look at the state. Making sure that everyone can get out. But yeah, that was really, really scary. That's where we were sliding down there. As you can see, they've not gritted the road and it's literally slush and there's like little divots everywhere and holes and that's where our wheel got stuck in there the back of the bus is not too bad but the front of the bus is absolutely annihilated wow that was scary thanks to the help of others we finally managed to get off the slopes at the ski resort we decided to head back to our original plan and stay there for the night. took Woody out for a walk and we've got uh, diesel leaking that means the diesel heater is now out of service until I can get it fixed now it looks like it's just a joint or connection from the high pressure pump to the diesel heater what's leaking so 
if I get a chance later on I'm going to give it a clean and see if we can get a new clip uh, and stop it from leaking so yeah a bit of a problem there I've already looked underneath and it is uh, just a bit wet on the fuel pipe but the thing is when it's rained it's been raining all night it makes it look a lot worse but when in reality there's only probably four or five drips of diesel at the most so it's negligible really where the company that reached out to us a few weeks ago were asking if we would be interested in doing a trial on one of their trail cams it's one of these units which you put on a tree and it's got motion sensing technology and it records animals and things so last night I set it up we parked in, in this car park here as, you, as you've already seen um, and I went into a little wooded area down there when it was dark and set it up so let's go and grab it and go and see where it is I can remember where I put it I remember going, I think through here. I didn't go very far because it was uh, a bit rubbish or weather last night. Oh, it's here. Though. Now I put a little bit of bread out, and to be fair, that bread has all gone, so that's good. And there's a camera there, as you can see, which I put on the uh, on the tree last night. We'll grab the camera now and we'll have a look if we've caught any animals. Well, it's a bit disappointing. We put a little bit of bread around last night, and I know you shouldn't feed wildlife, but it's just about three or four little tiny pieces, wasn't it? Um, it's caught nothing. It's caught me, but it's filmed me putting it on the tree, and it's filmed me just going up to it now. Um, but there's no footage at all, so it might well be the sensitivity settings, which, uh, to be honest, I've just switched it on and put a memory card in, and that's it. So I should have probably read the instructions, Lisa, right? Why is it not, is that, is it your fault it's not caught on? I don't or? know, well it, it picked me up walking up with camera, but it might be a distance thing, I need to alter the distance settings or something. So. Oh we'll have another crack at it tonight, somewhere else, mm -hmm. next um, where, what do you call it, park up, let's see mm -hmm. if we can find some I think you were looking for Bigfoot weren't you? Yeah, it's a bit disappointing. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. And as typical northerners weather, it's just started raining. We are still in Scotland. We slept in a car park last night. Where are we? In a place called Antor in Glencoe. And we are surrounded by the most gorgeous mountains. Some big peaks. Snow-capped mountains. We've had a very, very lovely, lovely sleep. Right next to a main road, but it quietens off at night time. Mm. Uh, we are today heading to a town called Balloch. Mm -hmm. Is that right? I think so, yeah. And there's Careful lots of Chinese you there, that. aren't there? Yeah, apparently there's a Chinese set up for tonight. But yeah, a peaceful place, lovely. It's a great stop off. Scenery to die for. What mm. more could you ask for? Yep, yeah, raining once again. But look at the scenery you get here. What a dog walk this is. Just surrounded by mountains. Woody's not going to be impressed. No, look, he's stopped already. <laughs> is he not wanting to go? Something, can't Woody's taking his time. He hates getting wet. And when we came out, it was quite mild. It just started raining as we got here. Yeah. Whoa! Look at that, Mark. Wow. Whoa. Don't don't shake it. We're shaking the bloody bridge. How are you doing Woods? I'm not liking this are you? <laughs> Look at that, that's unbelievable. Look at them rocks. That's a proper mountain eh? Oh, I just wish it had stopped raining. We found a bit of shelter under a tree. Because uh, yeah, it's coming down right bad at the minute. But the further north you go, it turns into snow, doesn't it? Like yeah. yesterday, we got caught in that snow, didn't over we? Over the other side on the east coast of Scotland, it's more snow over there, isn't it? But it's a bit more wet, obviously because of prevalent weather's coming from the west, and we're over on the west, aren't we? So yeah, but we only went, what, six miles up the road yesterday, and it all turned to thick snow, that's why we got stuck. Yeah. Thankfully, we got out. Look at that flat there. Yeah, look at these steps. Not for the faint heart of these steps, they're quite big. I like mountain here. Mount, you, you're saying this is mountaineering? I'm saying we are for the mountain. There you go. It's a National Trust of Scotland. Oh, yeah. Anto. Anto? That's not Manto. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and there's a, 
Woodland regeneration scheme going Woodland. on up there. Oh, what is off? Woody's off. Woody oh, Woody's gonna, from here, don't Woody's gonna christen it. The West is originating from here, don't we? Yeah, because we're in the West Highlands, aren't we? Yeah. He's a West Highland Terrier. 